What's going on, everybody? Welcome to my online guitar lesson. Today, I bring you a special edition with Swedish death metal and a band which I consider to be one of the best. Garment from their record The Ending Quest, one of the top of the Swedish scene, in my opinion, my humble opinion. I'm gonna show you today the song My Ending Quest, the opener of this record. Okay, it's gonna be, if you're playing on a sixth string, the tuning is two and a half steps down, which is B standard. Since I have an eighth string, I won't have to bother with that shit. But for all sakes and purposes, B string, E, and so forth. Okay, fantastic. Now let's begin with riff number one. We do a bar on the fifth fret on the B and E strings. Which moves to the seventh fret. Back and the power chord on the fourth fret on the B string. So on. So the melody, uh, which enters on the second time, and it's like the seventh fret on the E string. Then play on the D string, ninth fret, A string, ninth fret again to A string, tenth fret. Seven, nine, ten on the A string. So do that twice, and then move this shape to the eleventh fret and thirteenth fret. Fourteen, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, and now it finishes different from the sixteen, fourteen. 13. I'm gonna play this riff from start to finish. Okay, so this riff, the melody part, plays six times. So when it ends, on the ending of the sixth time, the first guitar should be doing ending here. And then so it's the first power chord to open. Now begins the riff itself. Number two, the first guitar. The second one is going to start. This is on the A string. Slide to the nine and then to the eight. Then on the E string, seven to nine to eleven and then eight. Finish on the 10th fret of the A string. So, then the second part will be the same, but you don't play the 10th fret. It's, you finish on the 8th fret of the E string. So, if this sounds confusing, I'm gonna play it now. Play, incorporating both guitars to make it look clearer. So, kind of like that, okay? Now, riff number three. First guitar, it's 
It's gonna be alternate picking on the B string open, to third, second on the E string, to open again on the B. Now changes to the first. with the same notes. Instead of the power chord, do the bar on the second fret, B and E strings. And of course, the bar on the first, when it's due. So, the melody over riff three. I'm gonna start on the A string, 10, slide to the 7, and then 9. And then a slide from the 9th fret on the E string to the 10. So. And then on the final time, do it three times on the final. Actually, this is a, a more harmonic on the 9th fret on the D string. So, uh, close to the bridge pickup, actually the neck pickup. It's kind of hard to pull it off at first try, but... So, the whole riff. So this is how you end. So ten, then seven, and then on the E string ten, nine, ten. Okay, leading to riff number four. On the B string, open third, second, and first fret of the E string. Pause. Pause again. Now it's first to open. First to first on the B. Twice this. Okay, now a little bridge. It's gonna be power chords. Open B. Fourth fret. 3rd fret, 6th fret. Leading to riff number 5. So I'm gonna play to you slow first. I think it's gonna be better to explain that way. This was riff number five played once. It actually plays twice, but so what's going on here? Uh, open B power chord twice on the first fret power chord, back to open, third, fourth to third, do a slide, six to five to four, to first twice again. Same thing again. Then fourth to first. Then alternate pick on the E string, third to second to second on the A string. So I'm gonna play it again. And then, 
is placed twice, as, I, as I've shown you. Then again, riff number four. Exactly the same. And then after riff number four, the bridge again. And then riff number two again. And to finish it off, riff number three again. As you slow down to the ending. This was the end of my ending quest. So do yourself a favor and go check Garment and their work. As for me, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.